So we say this a lot of days when we're not doing too much and we're doing some really basic free camp stuff. Uh, we won't video today, um, but then what's happening, Bill? Um, scenery like this happens. And it, this won't do it justice, but we're sending the drone up. Um, we can't help but show this stuff because, yeah, like I said at the start, the drives are um, just as good as the destination, hey? So good. Keep driving. It's about to land in the middle of the road. Oh, shit. Yeah, so we learned something today. If they go out of range, it doesn't matter if you get back in range, it still won't come back to me. So I got two Ks <laughs> away. Um, I still had heaps of signal to, to steer it, but I couldn't fly it back to myself. The only thing I could do was to go home, which doesn't work when you're driving following the car. Your home is back to where you started from. So I could, didn't have much choice, so I hit home. So I started, we started driving back to where we got to and it ran out of battery and it, uh, I got it just over the road and I thought, oh, I can find it if it's just over the road. But before we could get there, it actually landed on the white line. So, and so there's lucky. Been no, no cars oh. this morning and just when it landed, a car's oh. coming towards us. We can see the drone on the road and we're like flashing at this car to stop. <laughs> Thankfully, she didn't hit it, which was great, but. No, oh. so hot tip. Um, yeah, don't let it go to our range. So it landed on the white line and we just made it in time. No cars come past, nothing hit it. It's pretty quiet out here, so it's pretty safe, but yeah, got the heart going. Woo! I think you need a new pair of pants too. I think so. <laughs> it's not like the end of the world, but it's seven or eight hundred dollars. It was sucked and then we got no drone for the rest of the trip. So yeah. anyway, I hope you enjoy the footage we did. Um, <laughs> Let's play it now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Cheers. I'm just going to go and find my thongs that I dumped on the side of the road because I um, need to run down the road to find the drone, so next thing. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh, we are total rookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, not the best drone pilots. Uh, never a dull moment though. <laughs> Megan, knows, Megan knows how to do a U-turn with the van on now though. Yeah, That's it was job. Good job. total adrenaline rush, but anyway, did it. That last one was nothing. Besides that. Hang on, stop fighting for a second. <laughs> so we made it to Lark Up. Lark. Made it to Lake Argyle. We're all set up. Let's go and have a look around, eh, girls? No, we already yes. looked around. I know, but you've got to do it for the camera. Like, we it's need like to get we some of them first. Yeah, well, we already have looked around, but... <laughs> I just want to see the pool. Yeah. Fair enough, it's hot. Let's go.
Homestead Museum and we're about to go and see what's in there. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Woo! Where are we going? I don't know. Going to the pool now. Cool. Yeah. Jersey! So we just pulled up just outside of Kununurra is the Ivanhoe Crossing. Uh, I'll go across that and uh, to a camp spot called Buttons Crossing. I've been talking to a few people, they reckon it's an awesome spot to camp, so we're going to pull up there for two or three nights, just chill out, but um, we had some footage going across the Ivanhoe, it's a really iconic spot, and um, yeah, it's just another reason we travel to do these cool things, and uh, looking forward to this one. Holy dooly, that's a lot more water than I actually thought. Really? Yeah, no. <laughs> so I've heard it happening, and it is true, someone's standing in the middle of it fishing. You won't catch me out there, no thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly shitting myself. But yeah, this Ivanhoe Crossing it looks pretty cool. But yeah. Mum, can you turn the car on? It's hot. Yes, Harper. Are you ready? You! Let's do it. <laughs> I'm really kind of pooping my pants a little bit. <laughs> it's a big crossing. It is a big crossing. Um, yeah. It's good to see other people do it first, like everything. Hang on, record. Recording. Oh my god! Actually doing it! Look at old mate fishing still. He's loving it. Oh. Old mate just caught a barra off the off here, like it's got me wanting to walk out there too, but you can have that on it. Oh here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Hello water. Good fish, bud. the road to Buttons Crossing and we've come to a massive junction not really sure which way we're supposed to go. We're going to be smart for once and put the drone up instead of driving aimlessly with something that long and we get ourselves into quite predicament sometimes so we're gonna have a look with the drone this time because yeah it's a bit of a rabbit warren and um, we don't know where we're going. So let's go and have a look. Let's find a campsite. Well, we're bogged. Yep. Time for Max Tracks, I think. Mean. Oh, yeah. 
I was waiting for it to happen. We are at like 50 pairs high. We'll try this and then I might have to. It's never a dull moment. <laughs> All this for a campsite. The campsite. regular sightings of saltwater crocodiles in here so we won't be diving in that's for sure but people do have a dip like it's really clear for and, and shallow for 10 meters out so um there's no need to panic but yeah we won't be diving in that's for damn sure but hopefully there's fish in there i'm going fishing you. these kids these kids are well, all kids are the same but this this is such a kid thing willow I said, don't go past the tree line because, you know, a bit of water safety. There could be crocs. But we've put a few rocks on a branch in here. And those ones are special. We need those ones. <laughs> How many rocks do you reckon there are? Like, just have a guess. I don't How know, many? But How many? They are special rocks. <laughs> That'd it literally be rocks, trillions Let's of rocks. Trillions. It's shallow. But we need those ones. Yes. The ones that are close to the crocodiles. Yes. We best get them, we better risk our life for them. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. But let's stay away from the water, eh? Stone. And what are we going to look at now? Zebra stone. <laughs> Zebra stone. <laughs> <A> Zebra stone. <laughs> Willow, what did we learn? What are the four different types of rock? Um, so the zebra rock. Yep. Um, ribbon rock. Yep. Um. A carpio. A carpi. Yeah, a carpi rock. And a, 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 a astronomite. Astronomite rock. Astronomite rock. Very good. So that is zebra stone on the way to Ivanhoe Crossing on the left. Absolutely well worth the trip. Um, it's really rare for somewhere like this. You walk in, you get a free tour and a talk, and they still haven't asked for a cent. Um, and they really rely on just people buying something to, to stay afloat. And um, I think they got us because it was amazing and now we really want something to remember it by, so it works. And it was really refreshing and just really enjoyed it. The kids learnt something and yeah, it was good, hey mum? Yeah, let's go have a look in the gallery. Sword stone. Oh, Brian. 
maybe. So I just went to get the key for the dump point at a servo at Kananara. <laughs> um, pretty sure no one's gonna steal the key. Eh? <laughs> Who would want to steal a dump point key at him? I don't know, but that's probably the only reason they do it. That's yeah. hilarious. You gotta have a sense of humor, eh? <laughs> turn the, turn the key. Both? Yeah, just hold them both. Turn, turn the, the key. key, start it. Right round, right round. One more. Right, whoop, yep. You want to go clutch into the floor, left foot to the floor, foot off the brake, and out slow with the clutch. And you're through the sand, give it a bit of gas. Go Accelerator. Accelerate. Like this? Yep, sorry. little one. Just watch where you're going. Accelerate a bit. You'll get bogged otherwise. Good job, Wheelsy. Go, Wheels. Is that cool? Well, Button's Crossing definitely hasn't disappointed. We went for a drive into Kununurra today, had a good look around. Uh, went to Zebra Stone on the way in. Awesome spot. Um, we will wrap with the little talk he gave the kids and, and us, we learn a lot. We're probably gonna duck back in on the way out and grab something custom made. Uh, we got some, sh got a shaver while I was in there and tied it up, the jury's still out um, about this. I'm, uh, I've almost got proper facial hair. I'm nearly 40, anyway, but yeah. Buttons Crossing is absolutely one of the best free camps we've probably ever done. Um, so many little things about it, like the fact that it's on Riverstone, there's no dust. Just so many things like that really add up to a great camping experience on the water for free. 20 minutes drive into town across Ivanhoe Crossing. What are we doing, kids? Playing Uniclip. And who's winning? <laughs> Harper's killing us, which is really bad. I win 10 games. You're too. killing it, mate. You are killing it. I so. don't know how. No, I don't either. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, a couple of little bonuses to being right on the right on a fresh water source like this, which this flows straight out of Lake Argyle itself, so it's perfectly clean, fresh, clear water. Um, we've been running the hose from, from the river down into the pump, and then another hose back out. We've actually given the van a bit of a bit of a scrub up, um, got it back to something presentable, ready for the gib. Uh, we didn't use soap, just a sponge, so the water just drops on the ground and runs back into the river. Um, yeah, so it's bloody handy, eh? Having a nice clean water source. It's nice and cool of a night, so we've been out getting firewood today. So we're gonna have a fire tonight, guys. Yes, because it's already starting to cool down now. Yeah, it's been bloody awesome, I can't mate. believe the weather change from Darwin to here. Yeah. It gets really, really cold at night. All right, now who who wants to give me a thumbs up or thumbs down for the moustache? I'm kind of liking it, eh? Oh, jeez, did you hear that? Look at me, look at me, Dad! I don't know yet. Comment, you... comment below and I bet you'll get a Dad, lot of comments. I might tell him to get rid of it in a few days. <laughs> oh, thanks, Harpy. Harper You're a winner. Harpy's my favourite. <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> anyway, Buttons Crossing, what a magic spot. So like I said before, Buttons Crossing has turned it on and the weather is awesome. It's like 35 degrees during the day, but last night we were nearly looking for a jumper. So we went and hunt and got some firewood and um, we've got the fire pit out tonight, mainly because we, with a fire pit like this, you don't need as much wood and for four people, it's more than enough heat. Also, there's not hot coals and whatnot on the ground for the kids of a night and in the morning to, to tread on. So we really do like using the fire pit, even in places where you don't really need it. Uh, we've always said that in previous videos and we stand by it. It's not hard to, to get out and set up. So this one here is a Bennett Steel Easy Burn. And this was pretty well the original flat pack fire pit. These are Australian made and made by an Australian company. And we really, really do like supporting Australian companies where we can. So we'll put a link in the comments below. Um, they do ship out Australia wide. Support Australian companies and uh, we'll get this fire going tonight. Get Baru away. And what's Baru? Crocodile. Yeah, good work. That was amazing. Me and Megs have been sitting here having a drink. Um, just spotting a few eyes on the other side of the bank and we just sat there long enough a kangaroo come down to have a drink and this thing crawled out of the water and um, yeah nearly got it it's moving look 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 Megan whoa, whoa, Megan whoa. video yes, yes I'm videoing
Oh my god, oh, oh it's going god. back in the water. I'm oh, guessing holy that's crap. I'm guessing that's the salty. Why did it I don't, just sit I there don't, for that long? I know, why did it wait until then? Holy shit. I've got that on camera too. That's epic. Yeah, so he's obviously the, the local salty. They reckon there's one that cruises around here is about four meters long, so that, the other side of the bank is a fair way away. I would imagine that would be him for sure. Um, that'd be a fair size croc. So yeah, definitely have your wits about you when you camp in places like this. Um, once you're inside the van of a night, you're safe. You definitely don't just step out unwittingly uh, to go to the toilet of a night. But um, very cool to see, we were pumped. Probably I don't know if we can show much of the video. There was a fair few choice words involved, but how good was that though? It's good. It was exciting. Yeah. It was a bit scary, but um, yeah, it was good. <laughs> a bit apprehensive. Still shitting myself just <laughs> quietly. Ah, that's all good. Yeah. Very cool. Adam, just come back from the edge, please. <laughs> Not liking this distance. Well, Buttons Crossing didn't disappoint. Everyone said what a great free camp it was, and yeah, we loved it. We went from staying there for two nights to four nights. So back across the Ivanhoe, and we're off to hit the Gib. Uh, really excited for that one. So don't forget, guys, you only live once. Get up there and enjoy it. <laughs> you 